You guys ready? Crowning ceremony is an event that happens at the end of the school year. Cleveland STEM High School. Where my eagles at? Let me make some noise. What the celebration really entails is number one, just how proud we are of Kings and their level of growth that they've achieved, and that no matter where you are, you know that is a great place for you to be because it's somewhere you weren't before. And so any growth is is always good, and we want to make sure that we celebrate that. We were there for five days, we viewed the campuses, got to meet different college students, and just the opportunities, how it is to be an HBCU. And yeah, it was just a cool experience. This work begins with leading with love. I don't have any sons, but this young man is like my son, and I think that any of the facilitators out there will, will definitely understand what I'm about to say. These young men, we see them more than we see our own kids sometimes. And I've take, taken a real special interest in this young man, Malik, right here. When you're leading with love, that means that you have, you know, adults that really love and care about kids and that they are ready to show up and face whatever it takes, you know, for the benefit of those students. Eel, this is one of my guys that we always have a discussion about everything. There's a lot of credit that goes to the Kings for the work that they put in. This is my guy, Xavier Wright, and he got the second highest grade in my class. And I think that's what the crowning ceremony would like to celebrate and highlight. First, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Bradford. The biggest thing that I really gravitate to is hearing young people speak highly about their educators. I want to shout out Mr. Parker for being a great facilitator. And every time a student steps to the mic, you know, the first thing they want to do is pay homage to their facilitators for just how much they've invested in them. My name is Demetri Washington. And I want to shout out Cypress first. And it just speaks to the leading with love piece. The reason my Kingmakers facilitator is so important is because he's helped me learn. He's helped me know that it's okay to ask for help. He's helped me get better grades, have better knowledge, and everything in between. And it's beautiful too for families who also are not in classes with them every single day. My handwriting is garbage, still kind of garbage, and my reading skills aren't the best. But after like a few like months in Kingmakers, I'm doing a lot better than I did. So to be able to like see your peers and, and hear them talk about what they're learning and their experiences in their classes. I mean, there's one lesson from I'm pretty sure Muhammad Ali. He said, with no risk, no reward. Just kind of, you know, confirms and, and just give you, you know, uh, a great feeling that you're in the right place. So I'm in sixth grade, so I'm new to middle school, but Kingmakers has helped me a lot because... One of the young kings at the last crowning ceremony said one of the things that really benefited him from being in the class is that before he took Kingmakers, like, he never would have even got on stage to even do what he's doing. I used to be really shy about stuff and not really talk to people. To build the confidence in himself and then for him to see that the skill that he has to speak publicly is very strong and I want to build on those skills. Confident to talk to people in big groups. That's what the crown of ceremony is all about. He did all those things and still maintained a 4.0 GPA all year long. Shout out to we just want to acknowledge the Kings, lift them up, and let them know that we support them, you know, no matter what their journey is. So you have Kings who are finishing sixth grade, they will be back with us, seventh grade will be back with us, and then you have eighth graders moving on to high school. Before in seventh grade, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of a troubled kid, but ever since I really started paying attention to Kingmakers in eighth grade, I've went on trips to Oakland, I've started getting better grades, I've started just like... I start becoming a better man as a whole. And we just want to just encourage them, you know, everything that you've learned to carry that on with you throughout the rest of your life, even if you never step foot in another Kingmakers program again.